Turkey gravy, beans and rolls, let me see that casserole. Now I cannot play the actual song because I would get a copyright strike. However, I'm pretty sure that you can hear the song in your head anyway. This design is a cute and fun play on that song. And the colors, perfect for Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, or just a fun fall day. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette you found your way to Silhouette Success, where I share all of my tips and tricks and fun tutorials. I absolutely love to hear from you guys in the comments, so if you have any questions at all, go ahead and put them there, or you can head over to the Book of Faces and join the Silhouette Success group. There you are able to share your projects, talk to other Silhouette users, and stay up to date with all of the Silhouette news. I had so much fun with this design, and I wanted to share with you how to create amazing text designs right in Silhouette Studio. I did grab this simple but cute pumpkin from Creative Fabrica to add a little flair, but the rest is all text. The secret is choosing fonts, colors, and embellishments to fancy it up a little bit. Let's start with the fonts. Open up the textile panel on the right hand side of your screen. I used three different fonts in this design, which I would say would be the maximum number that you should use in any given design. I picked Pan Boogie Woogie, Butterfly Capital, and Bauhaus 93. Unfortunately, I've had these fonts for a long time and I really could not tell you where they came from. I'm going to bring in a guideline to help here with placement. Just head over to the side ruler, click and pull it to where you want to place the guide. Now you can stretch the text, move it around, and just play with the design until everything is placed where you want it. Let's add some fall colors, and this is where the design really starts coming together. I'm using orange, brown, and yellow. Remember, this is just a representation of the vinyl but it is an important step because we're going to use the fill colors to group the elements in just a bit. And that's going to make it a lot easier to line up the layers when you go to press. Now let's take a look at the warp panel. I'll be using the first tab to reshape my text and give it a little bit of personality. The orange squares in the corners give you your basic shape and the red and blue dots help you to fine tune it. Now, this wavy look and muted colors will give this design kind of a retro feel. I'm going to curve beans and rolls around the edge of the pumpkin just a bit. When the design is absolutely perfect, I'll go through and release the warp on each word. Right click and then group. Keep in mind that once a text has been warped, it is no longer seen as text in the software. So you might want to use the sticky note feature to keep track of the fonts that you used, just in case you want to modify the design in the future. You can learn more about the sticky note feature in the video that I have linked above, and I will link it in the description as well. That way you don't have to leave the video right at this moment. Next, you're going to want to open up Select by Color and choose the second tab. That is Select by Fill. I'll click on each one of the colors listed, and then I'm going to right click and group. Let's get rid of this guideline. Now, I'm going to be putting this on a shirt with a V-neck, which means that I'll have a little bit less area to work with because I don't want the design on my stomach. So I'm going to squish it just a bit. Just pay attention to be sure that the design doesn't become distorted. And scale it to size. I usually stay right around nine, nine and a half inches for my shirts. Most of the sizing charts out there say that the design area should be a bit larger, but this is the way I like it. And that's the beauty of being able to create your own shirts. Since we are working with heat transfer vinyl, we are going to go ahead and flip the entire design horizontally. Then we can right click, ungroup, and start getting ready to cut. I'm starting off with the orange layer. Now over in the send panel, you want to choose your material. 
Then you're going to prepare your mat and we can get it sent off to cut. Remember when you're working with HTV, you want to put the shiny side of the material down on your mat. And get it loaded into the machine. Always check your cut before you unload the mat. Let's get this weeded now. There's the brown layer and the yellow layer. And the final product. I will be wearing this often this fall. I absolutely love how it turned out. If you have questions on using the sticky note like mentioned in the video, go ahead and check this video out next. All the information is in there. Otherwise, go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.